He hasn't been a father to him, so I don't think that he should have the chance to be that now, because he hasn't. He hasn't from the start. But I think it's slightly different because we are yeah. talking with, from the sounds of that he's you don't feel he's a good dad. No. And I think we're talking about here more about good dads, the good dads, responsible want to see them. dads um, yeah. that, that want to spend time with their kids. And then I think they've got every right to see their children. They, you know, they should not be mm. by the mother's told not to. Who is it for the mum to say they cannot yeah. see their child when they are doing everything they can to see their child? Do you, does this happen a lot? Are you legally able to just? No, you're not. You have to apply for the permission of the court to remove children from the jurisdiction. Of course, if it's done, it's a done act. But uh, they are then brought. B Every the time you speak to the judge, yeah, yeah, exactly. you two aren't getting on. <laughs> if there's been no court hearing, then they don't have to get permission of the court. I had to say, yeah, somebody I know that's close to me, they, they, had that, they had that situation where somebody just, he suddenly found out one day that she'd moved a four-hour drive away. Now, now that's still within the same country, but yeah. that's still a nightmare for your access. Absolutely. Where, where do people stand How can you that? bind somebody to stay in, talking about just in this country, how can you bind a woman to stay in one particular area? For the rest of her life. But should there not be? Should there not? Come on, is there anybody going to talk up here? Isn't anyone angry? Right, right. There's nothing to stop a, a, a woman moving without mm. telling the father. But of course, if he finds out immediately, he can apply uh, to the court for a hearing about that. Um, but, but if it's a done deed, it is difficult. Um, but there wouldn't be contact stopped because she'd moved. It would just be geographically it difficult. Be, it would just be different. reduced, though. I mean, that, that's the point. It is yes, many, and it has many, to be many fathers contact. are given a contact order, and it could be fairly generous. Um, but when the mother moves away, then that contact is immediately reduced. But that, that's not right, because, I mean, the court made a decision based on the best interest of the yes. children in the first place. The mother's moved away and immediately deny that contest. But you, you've just got to do that. If she's, if she's living in, in uh, Devonshire and, and the father's living in uh, uh, Liverpool, uh, then it, it has to be worked around school holidays and long weekends and half terms. And there are lots of school holidays. But, but, but and why does a mother ideal. have the right to it's make that, that decision? It sounds really unfair to well, me. Why, why does a mother have the right to make that decision? <coughs> You know, that, that should, if we had a presumption of 50-50 contact in the first place, then the, that would it take away that decision made by the mother to deny contact to the father. But you're, what you're really saying is that the father should control where the mother lives. No, 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 no. no. You say it's for the children's sake, but that's obviously not, because the children love their father mm -hmm. as much as they love the mother. Yeah. So that's not for the children's sake. What you're saying is no, the mother wants it, to no, me. I, I, yes, it's because the mother okay. wants to move. I'm not saying it's for the children's sake. What I'm saying is that you can't tie a woman well, no, to live in one area. Think before a woman forever. Leave, goes from one end of the country to another, hang on a minute, is that going to affect the children and the father? Hang on, let's, let's work this out, let's come to I a mean, thing. It's definitely but going to have an effect on the access, yeah, You come it? back yeah. to, the father would then have to apply for residence. Exactly, the uh, father has to apply you again. would say, uh, well, then the father's on uh, facing an uphill... Absolutely. Uh, struggle, yeah, exactly. uh, because the mother's already got residence and I, I have to agree with that but so a woman can move uh, and contact does change as a result of it. Liz, yeah. we're going to make a program about mothers who abandon their children. <coughs> Were you abandoned by your mother? Have you forgiven her? Call us now on 09015 or email us at nowyoutalking at bbc.co.uk. Are you a mother who felt forced by circumstances to leave your children? Have you tried to make it up with them? Call